go. So, hello, welcome to Bravo Confessionals. I don't know what this is, but anyway, you are joined here by myself, Mel. This here is Taylor. That's Miss Michelle. And then we have Miss Madison Stalker. She is from Portland Yacht, and you probably don't have anything negative to say about her. Just going to start off there. <laughs> <laughs> I adore you. <laughs> Thank you all. Welcome. And all my grapes and wine. Oh, mm -hmm. cheers. I'll do cheers. it. Too. Cheers, Gavna. <laughs> so, Madison, yes. how do you feel? I'm not trying to get too real on you because my kid is crying. So, how do you feel about the capping about of the season you're on? Uh, like, in what way? Like, like, would you have changed any aspect of how you were actually, like, the crew you were on? I mean, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I no, mean. Uh, I wouldn't have. It's just... <laughs> For a second, I was like, what the She's like, bless your heart. No, bless yeah. your heart. No. Uh, all right, so enough said with that. <laughs> so Without if they, anything. If they ask you to come back for the second season and you get word that this same person might be on the crew, I'd would you be friend, down for I'd the ask, challenge? Because I don't even think they, they never tell you who you're on with. Mm -hmm. Um, But... I will say this, from a professional standpoint, if I walked up, I would ask for my plane ticket home. <laughs> That's big. I would. Okay. Like, I'm done with dealing with two-faced, hypocritical human beings, so. Can, can I ask a, um, like, a super direct question, which I, I don't know if this has been clarified, but yeah. when were you actually, because we also talked to, um, girls, who do we talk to? Uh, Chris. Chris and Miller. Chris us that you that this person had reached out to you but that it wasn't within a time frame and that was never clarified so when did this person directly reach out to you and actually acknowledge their behavior or treatment of you with also giving you acknowledging a, their behavior yeah, yeah so i mean i didn't even have to be a part of it because like hello so when i think i think it was like two and a half months oh shit but but it was like the day around okay i don't want to say the day because then people would be like it wasn't the day it was like three <laughs> whatever it was around this around the same time frame that we found out that we had to go back to do our pickup interviews like that pickup okay. interviews were started back in la yeah and yeah, i'm like so chris told us dude you're this. doing this to save your ass <laughs> you how contrived and manipulative can you be to be like oh my god okay so now we're gonna go into interviews and i know she's gonna talk about me but i've reached out saying i apologize for some of my behavior but it was like the most like roundabout apology i've ever gotten in my entire life because she was like saying like oh you were a great second student it's like you know we were in different like she has gone back and forth and back and forth about being like you're rock i have texts saying you're a rock star second stew like we got this, blah, 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 production's putting us, like, pinning us together, yada, 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 and then she was like, Madison should have been fired halfway through the season. I'm like, who the f***? Jenna is, like, sitting on Adam's face all the time. I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to do three jobs at once, man. I have to, like, came across like that, like, you were working. I busted my ass, like, I really did, and you know what, I do know that everyone was working, but it was like, they were, like, going through the motions of working and I actually was like trying to like do everything for everyone and the thing that they don't know which pisses me off is that I was actually the most positive person on that boat because I was running around being like high fives positive vibes we got this guys like trying to like I was like making food for Paget and Ciara when I knew they were on deck I was like even like making Adam and Jenna coffees in the morning because I was like this is what you guys need like trying to be there for everyone and like I put myself last and I think that's my biggest regret it's like I always put, like, the guests, then the boat, then myself. Like, and that's, but, like, that's who I am as a person. I, like, I'm such an empath. I just, like, I want everyone else to be okay. And, like, for me to, I don't know, like, be the last thing that I worry about. See, if that were a mantra, we would, um, I mean, we just need, like, enough. We just need t-shirts, officially. Because, yeah, we know exactly. We're, we're the four best friends that anyone can have. 
Anyone? <laughs> Female wolf pack, watch out. Come, oh, we're going to come in hot with this group chat soon. <laughs> all memes and inspirational quotes and us getting <laughs> drunk and being like, oh my God, I just climbed a building. No way. Uh, I just climbed you a building. You have no idea. <laughs> I, I have been a real asshole to be in a group chat lately, so I'm going to have to get some meth to balance myself out. But anyway. <laughs> Do you say meth? No, meth I or mean, men. say meth. Meth I don't or men. Oh, I don't think meth would would help in this scenario. I think yeah. I was like, just I live in Appalachia. Come on down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they sell like uh, meth kits at the Seven Eleven there, right? Oh yeah. I mean, we don't oh have Seven Elevens, but I the guy on the corner's really, got it. I got super drunk, like uh, two weeks ago in Vegas or in Nashville. Not oh. in Vegas. <laughs> and I met some girl, like my friends went in because we can't. We were walking back from the bar because like we just smoked like two cigars. We're walking back from the bar, and like this girl was chilling outside of the Seven Eleven, and she seemed really nice. And like we just started talking because I didn't have a mask on me, and like we're just like chatting. And I was like, "Yeah, dude, like we should hang out." And I just like gave her my phone number. <laughs> I was just telling them I met a really lovely homeless man the other day. <laughs> Homelessness is not okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're getting off the top. Right. Okay. We're reeling okay. it in. We're reeling it in. Hold on. Okay. What? Do, like wait, we're on a boat. Wait, wait. So you traveled with Chris after your season. And by the way, he posted a picture and your boobs looked phenomenal. Do that side boob game. I'm all about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I know. Like, we, I knew no I wanted to stay. I knew I wanted to stay in Corfu, um, and because I didn't really get to like see the place I had been living in for like seven weeks, so I'm like, I'm gonna stay an extra ten days and like see. And he wanted to stay too, and I'm like, it's like it, not that it was like expensive, but also I paid off my student loan with like all of that money, and I was. Good for you, you. Girl. Thank you. If I had two hands and I wasn't holding a bottle, I would clap for you. You were badass, though. So, um, I was like, we should just split an Airbnb. So, like, that's what we did. So, it was just like, yeah. I love Chris, it. How much Chris, do you love Chris? We love Chris. You can say it. He said that you have layers to your personality, and we sort of agreed that there's got to be. So, <laughs> we didn't know. Like, oh, we yeah. Like I'm a very complex individual. Um, yeah. He's very lovely, and he's very upbeat, and he was really good for our crew morale. But... Yeah. And that's, like, like, the biggest thing for me is, like, I think a lot of people go on the show because they want to, like, be a person. But, like, for me, I used it because I paid off my student loan. I wanted to show that someone could be very authentic and, like, be themselves wholeheartedly and, like, walk away from that being, like, I didn't use it to be on American Idol. I just want to go into fashion. So I did it yep. very subtly. <laughs> oh. I think so. What what do you do like with fashion? Like what, what are um, you working on? So I've like started drawing up like designs, and um, I'm gonna do. Oh, she's in the shower. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so so um yeah, just drawing up designs. I want to do like a small capsule collection. Um, maybe like what I'm thinking is like play suits and like body suits, and then. Ideally, I want to do a collaboration with brand and then go from there and then down the road, like 10 years later, do like my own like full line. But I just love styling. I love like, and I hate to say it, but I don't want to be like an influencer, but I want to like influence people. Does that make sense? Like, I don't want to sit there and tell you about skincare and all this shit. I'm not even wearing makeup. I still, I still use my fingers. I'm not going to sit there and do that bullshit. <laughs> I'm like, I, I like clothes. That's what I'm good at. This is what I want to do. I'm not going to be like, um, I use this skincare line, and this is how I do my hair. I literally took a shower, and I brushed it. I have a brush right here. This is, like, literally all I do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so did you go to school for fashion? I don't have time. What? Did you go to school for fashion? No, I actually went to school for um, advertising and PR. Oh, that, I mean, that kind of goes hand in hand. But like, it's, like, with it's promoting your own. side of it, so I can, like, manage my own line, which is, like, good nice. things, so... 
But I, I always had like five programs at Michigan State that are still around with like different brands. So wait, so I live in Athens, Ohio, and you went to Michigan State. They were like yeah. big like football. Oh rival yeah. People. Oh, I know. <laughs> Like, you know, I'll take it. I don't care. It's fine. We all hate Michigan, though, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, can't agree on that. You fit them, well, though. So you know. I was going to go back. Wait, where'd you go? No, I was going to fit them when I was a kid. I was going there, and then I was yeah. like, wait. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> like, do some other stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go do some other stuff. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just take your animals for six and a half years. That's fine. It's fine. What were you gonna say? I was gonna bring it back to Oh yeah. Sorry. Low down. <laughs> I know. I like we're the worst. Kids, though. I like that we're talking like as if we're like BFFs in the force. I mean that's yeah. It's happening. <laughs> you don't even know, girl, it's happening. I'm calling you for a babysitter. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> um, so how did you personally feel about the relationship? On the book. with all relationships all relationships couples. couples couples okay so if you're a couple on a boat i think cr and Paget did it very well they were like fun to hang out with because they weren't <laughs> on top of each other during charter if you're like off charter do you boo boo get get your person like it's hard on charter are you just like constantly making out with everyone? Constantly making out with everyone. Like, well, not everyone, just one person, I think. Hopefully. I don't know. That'd be weird. But like, no one wants to see that in the middle of work. And then, like, okay. So, so we have a, we so have a question about that then. Because right. when we were interviewing Jenna, you were probably going to say the same thing, Michelle. Ask when we were interviewing, <laughs> when we're interviewing Jenna, she was adamant that it did not happen during work hours. It's just how they filmed it. She's the most psychotic human being I've ever met in my entire life. Just, she literally backtracks so much. Just to piggyback off on that, Chris doubled down on that same sort of... He's girl. also on the exterior. What the <laughs> f***, dude? You're on deck. Like, I literally... They even show it on national television when we well, be on charter in our blacks and they're making out. Well, the, the way the that she, you're, like, you're the, way that, the way that she described it to us is that they were making out like in the galley, but there was cameras on the ceiling, so there wasn't necessarily a cameraman there. They were just oh, caught hey. in their. Session. I'm sorry. It was just. I don't, I didn't even watch, like, all the episodes, but there is one episode where there's literally a cameraman that goes like this, and then to Georgia, <laughs> and I'm like, Dude, why are you lying when it's legit, like, it's already aired, like, at least live before, oh my god, I can't, I can't, I'm so, I'm so done, I'm so done, like, oh my god, oh my all right. god. That's good to know, because, like, we're getting a, your side, which we love your side, by the way. Thanks. You're the hardest person I've ever <laughs> seen with people who don't work. <laughs> <laughs> and I never even threw her under the bus. Ever. No, even with Captain Glenn. Even there. when Glenn came up, I was like, we're grown adults. We'll handle our shit. Apparently not, because she was like, you're the one who did this. And I'm like, oh my god, dude, she is the most gaslighting human being I've ever met in my entire I life. Out of integrity in that moment because you could have actually been like, Yeah, I've got this. This is what happened. Yeah, I and it, because I'm like, We have literally three days left. Why create drama? Yes, and then she just sat there and was like, I'm fuming. You're talking about my personal life. Bitch, you fucking talked about my sister and said I couldn't do my job because I was too emotionally upset. Oh my God. I just, I can't. I can't with her. That, that would can't. make rage too. I can't, you know, oh, honestly, I can't. I, I don't understand what's going through her head, but like. So oh. I saw a little bit of a thing um, regarding Sierra recently. I say recently, maybe like two weeks ago. Who knows? I think uh, I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> yeah, it was concerning her opinions 
uh, regarding apparently. Me? Yeah, 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 you, yeah. What? <laughs> She's not so. It, oh, so. I'm blanket. getting very worked up because I'm no. like. So blanket. I, her and I bonded. Like really, like they don't show it, but like we would have like late night coffees together and like this whole thing. And I thought that she was like one of my friends. And then you'd be like, I'm not surprised Madison was crying every night. Yeah. And I think it was that. I wasn't it, crying every night. I was like, I cry like probably four times. Anyone in that situation is going to f***ing cry. If you don't, you're a psychopath. Yeah. Wait, who, said who said this? Sierra? Sierra. Yeah, I think it was that. And then she made some sort of comment regarding um, the, the blanket statement of it was basically that um, you tried to come out artist working, but that shouldn't be assumed, or her opinion is different, or something like that. Oh, I didn't hear that one. I stopped watching it after. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's weird it. things to be coming out, like, months post production, mm -hmm. and then now and I then think we're Like, a month. year after. Yeah, well, so, Madison, if it makes you feel any better, I have to say, as a viewer, watching yeah. it, you, whatever footage they have, you still put, came off as the hardest working person I've ever seen on that sh on the and boat. And the thing is, like, I knew breakfast nights, yeah. that, like, you're doing the laundry, you're dealing with the, the guests. I personally was like, I've never seen a stew work harder. And the th thing, I appreciate that. But the thing is, is, like, I knew the moments they were going to use of me. I sat down probably less than a handful of times to actually eat. And it, like, and if I did, like, during, like, the day. Yeah. And that was just at the end because I was over it. And they showed that. But the thing is, like, you can only show and edit me in a way that I give you. And they used my one moment where I took a break after not getting a break for, like, three or four charters. And when I was laying on the beach, we were like, okay, I was told to hold the beach for four hours. And I'm like, and I felt bad. And I sat there and I was like, I want to be back in the boat because I'm not doing anything here. Like, I want to help. And I was like, F this. And I was just like, I have not had a break. I sat down for 40 minutes. Most of the girls take two hours. And they also, it was the worst beach of my life. It's all rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Who picks a beach with all rocks? Thanks to Parker, we know that to be true. <laughs> Dudes, I'm like, what are you guys there, doing? There was no so I felt a visceral reaction when I saw when, like, the, I think the glass broke and then Jenna came up and said something like, well, this doesn't need to be cleaned up right away or something like that. And I was like, oh my God, oh, <laughs> I'm going to know the exact you. moment that you're talking about. Because I was yeah. like, if I don't clean it, you're going to bitch about it and be like, well, she's like not finishing a job. And I'm like, it's fine. you know what, I'm all good, I'm all good. How was, Glenn, how was Glenn to work with? He seems pretty awesome. He's the best captain I've ever worked for. And I've said this a multitude of times. Like, he's amazing. I have so much respect for him. And he, because he's so personable but professional. That he's like such a downright dude that, like, no matter what awesome. he did, he's like, I'm going to have your back. I'll talk to you. Yeah. And I'll see you. The only frustrating thing was... I think that first meeting that we had that I was very thrown off by because he was just taking Jenna's word as truth. And that, that was frustrating. First meeting that Jenna, him and I had, like the, just, and I, I was so taken aback by that because I had just worked my ass off and she pulled out my, like, they don't show a lot of it, but she pulled out my sister and was like, I think she's too emotionally upset about her sister to be here. I'm doing this out of a place of caring for you, and I'm you don't give two shits. Like, what? Now, how long ago was it that your sister had passed that they would bring this up? Five years, six years now. Really? Yeah, almost six years. Okay. Yeah. It's I knew, like, but like, the thing happened, is, like, I, I knew it was going to come up. Like, I knew it was going to come up. In the, sh in the show, because they, every single f***ing interview they asked me about her. They're like, we don't have a clean bite. And I'm like, you, mm, you do. And for, for me on the show, it's my business if I want to tell people right. or not. A thousand it's, percent. It's my business. 
And I didn't want that to be used in a way that people were going to be like, oh, Madison, we feel so sorry. For me, I told Georgia that in confidence because, like, I thought she was, like, my sister. Like, I thought her and I were very close and I could trust her. So it was just – it pissed me off because – producers were like Jenna said that you left last night because you were too emotionally upset about your sister and it set me off and that's why I came back to the boat from my interview fuming I was like bully me all you want but use my sister as an excuse for me to be leaving a bar because I value my job because they told me that I had a green screen interview at 7 a.m instead of 8 p.m which was my normal time I was like I want to leave that's like, disgusting. I, like, I'm trying to be responsible. Like, I want to leave yeah. the bar because I don't want to be hung over all day because I know I'm going to be the only one flipping the boat. Like, uh, it was just, like, one of those triggers for me that I was like, fuck you. Like, different yeah. level. Like, a different level. Fuck you. So. You know, it was really, um, I've been around some really gross people in my life. And I yeah. think that, in that moment when Georgia, the way that she says it, you in the laundry room and then yeah. try to back up why she's saying it do you recall the scene when jenna is standing in the doorway <clears throat> of the um the laundry room and like she's listening well no 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 um so totally totally different um oh, okay yeah she's talking about um with adam like her and adam were not getting along at the moment yeah so she's standing there and she tells georgia he doesn't want to talk about it well then Georgia starts to say something super pointed about it and it's this look in Georgia's eye when she goes to say it and it reminded me of when she was trying to apologize to you for bringing up your sister and it just was for me was like oh that's super gross like that yeah. little thing that you do there yeah like like twice that I saw her do something like knowing that it wasn't okay but, and I don't even know how to describe it. Like, like having completely disregard for it. Yeah, that was pretty f***ed up. I, mm -hmm. And it's hard for me to watch because it's, I trusted her completely and I thought she was, and I know, and I don't say this lightly, I thought she was like one of my best friends. I thought she was my sister. I thought she had my back. And for me to watch the season and for her to be so two-faced was like heartbreaking. Yeah. Like, Completely. And I think that moment too was like hard for me to watch because I'm like, well, you're doing the same shit. Yeah. So that sucked. Um, so what else regarding, so like, I'm trying to think back in my, in my bank. I've watched so much since then. And this, <laughs> this low deck has me like, I'm fucking done. I'm done. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this season? Oh, it's okay. Uh, below deck. Med. Yeah, yeah. I haven't watched it. it. Um, so we kind of already know there there have been spoilers out, so we kind of already know how it ultimately and like what what changes. Um, yeah. so I won't spoil that for you, but um, we kind of already figured that out. So okay, cool. Thank you, spoilers. Like I don't care about it because <laughs> I really like to watch it unfold. However, yeah. there's a lot of different things going on with it. Um, but I did want to ask what, um, prevented you from, uh, eviscerating the guy who picked you up <laughs> all that long wind just to come around and be like, what made you, <laughs> I would have been like, you're dead. Done. Um, yeah. I was so like, what just happened? Yeah. You know what I mean? And that I was like, oh my God. And I was just so like frozen. And it's, I'm like, not that I don't have a spine, but I'm like, also, you're a charter guest. I'm not going to try and make a scene. I'm a big girl. I'll just deal with it emotionally. Like, I'll keep my distance. I'll be professional, but I'll keep my distance. And for me, that's like the moment that happened. But I didn't know all that shit was afterwards. Because I went down, like, down into the cockpit, like, immediately. And down into the bar. And I was just, like, kind of shaking. And... I think when Parker came up, he was like, it's not that big of a deal. But I'm like, you don't know what it's like to be a girl being physically handled like that. It's up. I don't care if you're on a boat that costs you 250000 for a week. Like, that's 
you don't own me. I'm not your property. No, you didn't. That's not. But I also think that there's a difference between having a rapport with someone and immediately when he got on the boat, like he was just an asshole to me. I think had like Tommy done it as a joke and being like, Mads, Mads, and done it, I would have laughed. You know what I mean? But there's that line of being comfortable with someone and having a rapport and then being an asshole to someone and then doing that. And I think that's. Oh, you can get away with it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you. Thanks, yeah. And, yeah. Oh, been very cool. For a class act. Okay. All right. So Miss Madison Stalker, um, yeah. below deck med opinions and reviews would, which is a phenomenal group. Um, and you are in there and I see you very, very active in there. So shout out. Um, so just wondering, someone would like to know what your current dating situation is. You don't have to give us any beats. You just know if you want to. Hmm. That's complicated. <laughs> Dip some tea, ladies. But is tea. someone buying you flowers? <laughs> someone what? Buying you flowers once in a while. Maybe. Okay, does someone send you a flower emoji once in a while? My God. <laughs> Maybe a spade emoji. <laughs> I'm that. so awkward. No. We all are. <laughs> no, it's not. This is awesome. This is us. So, like, look at if- if you weren't on here, and I, uh, I appreciate you being here. This is the conversation I would be having with my three best friends. Like, yeah. so, <laughs> welcome, so, crew, Madison. Welcome to the crew. Yeah. If you, Hello. Thanks for having me. <laughs> a below deck, any any <laughs> of the franchises. So <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just Bye-bye. a beautiful way. Just have right. a moment. Um, what were you if, saying? If you could choose any of the, man, do we call, yeah, cast members. I almost called them characters. Um, <laughs> choose anyone. Someone else called me, they're like, you're my favorite character. I'm like, uh, I'm myself, but thank you. <laughs> I'm myself. <laughs> I'm myself. If you could choose anyone to, let's say, uh, Michelle, we call it quarantine. Wait, what? What's your quarantine? Oh, if I could choose any. I'm sorry. If I could choose any, any below deck person, person, bravo, who would you want to be quarantined with? Five people. From bravo, Oh, five? Deck. Five people. Uh, Kate. Love Kate. Um, I haven't, I haven't watched, like, all the below decks, so I don't really know. So I'm going to do the people that I've, like, met. <laughs> So, <laughs> but Kate, I met Kate. I love Kate. She's amazing. Um, Kate, <laughs> she's my favorite. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, she's amazing. Um, oh, I like Asia a lot. Yes. Um, I haven't watched them all, so I don't really know. But uh, <laughs> Kate, I'm, Asia, you can Rob, always choose stars. Rob, <laughs> Rob Parker. <laughs> Okay, wait, I got this. Wait, I'm trying to, like, think of, like, other seasons. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. Kate, Aisha, Rob, Colin, Parker. Solid. I like yeah. that. And we love Colin. Colin's so much fun. We I talk do. to Colin all the time. Yeah, Which Colin's like, awesome. I love Colin. He's awesome. Yeah. He's so fun. So, I'm, I'm really curious about... Um, Parker, because that's uh that's not one I. Parker's my best friend. Oh, yeah, he's like my brother. He's my best I, friend. I feel like he he was very misunderstood, and he's one very. of those like you just it's our it's too far it's too far. We've said too much. Yeah. It's, oh, and we who do we have on recently that was asking us for clarification regarding whether or not he went by choice or and we were kind of I'm honestly so over that conversation I like it sucked for me because it was like my one true best friend was leaving and 
like, I think they played out our storyline a little too long. I mean, again, it's a reality TV show. But, like, immediately him and I just had this – we're – we're just so like-minded I think he just takes I've learned to not take things too personally now where it's but I think he does but I will always have his back and he's always had mine and it's going to be a friendship that I think lasts us a lifetime because like I just am like his number one fan I'm his biggest supporter like I love him and Katie to death like I was so so happy when so happy when I found out that he was engaged like he deserves the world and he's like my brother so for me for him to leave that was I felt and like that's when it was like I wasn't like upset about being single on the boat I was upset about being alone like by (laughs) myself (laughs) because it was couple 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 captain captain. no one wanted to do anything I'm like you bitches we're so boring like let's just go out (laughs) no one wanted to go out I'm like, why feel like you got the short end? Like, why did you want to go back to the boat where we've literally been stuck for days, like days? Do you feel like had the opportunity to get a new cast, entirely new new cast? Would you do it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. (laughs) He's in. (laughs) We uh, we even said to Chris. I said, I felt like. Chris was going to come in and Madison was going to have, and I said, not that she needed it, but happy to give her potential for someone to tell her she's pretty because I feel like every girl needs to be told pretty. And then but you the came, was like, not and in you, like a creepy way, but Parker was always like, Mads, you're gorgeous. Like I got like validation from like one of my best friends and like that made me feel better. Because I went out and I was like trying to get with this bartender that was like right at our like marina thing, but we couldn't do that. Really? They were that... so, oh my god! Oh my god! You have to Google these dudes. They're so hot. And I was like, Why can't you just give me this level on here? Yeah. <laughs> right. But I was, but my personality I... type, like who I am as a person, I would never, ever, ever hook up with someone on television. I'd yeah. make out. Pro- I'd make out probably, but like, I'd be like, I'm like. Dude, my grandpa, my grandpa literally texted me and was like quoting all of my quotes. He's like, "Haha, don't put your don't like. I think you're attractive, but don't uh, like. I don't need your P in my V." I'm like, "Grandpa, oh my god!" <laughs> like, imagine if I like, had sex. Oh my god. Oh my god. It would have been I'm like, grandpa, and he's like sending me this list of quotes, and I'm like, he's like, "You're funny," and I'm like, "What do you think?" <laughs> You should know what that means, <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks, Gramps. I feel super validated. <laughs> I mean, honestly. <laughs> I what else can you ask for? I just thought that you deserved someone to come on and not immediately go for someone else. Just to... Hey, no, no, no. But the thing is, like, Jenna asked us, do you find Chris attractive? I said no. Immediately, Georgia, she asked, they don't show, they, she goes, Georgia, do you find Chris, we're like, no, like, he's not our type. And then she literally went to Chris and was like pushing Chris onto Georgia. It was so f***ed up because after we were both like, we don't find him attractive, Georgia felt obligated to like go on a date. That also, whole- everyone was getting off that f***ing boat but me. And I'm like... They were trying to break me, and I'm like, oh my god, this is so frustrating. It's fine. It happened a year ago. <laughs> I mean, I kind of asked Chris this, but how awkward was it to film the reunion via phone? It was like six, six and a half hours of us sitting there like this. Six and a half hours. I don't even think Andy watched the reunion <laughs> or watch or watch the show, watch the show, because like he was like asking us. Questions that had already been answered multiple times in interviews and also I haven't talked to like six or seven of those people in like since I since the show also Adam showed up an hour late in a f-ing hammock are you kidding really in a hammock an with hour a dog in a hammock and I'm like dressy Pretend like you're actually on the show. You just showed up in Portland, like, on a hammock, like this. 
I feel like if I was just like, hey guys, hello. <laughs> he didn't care at all. But I feel like that even on like Watch What Happens Live, he did like an episode, right? Like recently with him and Andy, and he was in like a quarantine. Did he? But he seemed like he was so, he could care oh, less. God. Yeah. What? Def- Adam just seemed like he could care less when he was oh, on he Watch What Happens. I think he said maybe. He doesn't. I think he said maybe ten words. Yeah. The whole time, maybe ten. Really? Yeah. Might have like, been five. On the watch, okay, like, might have been like a yes, no. Hey, I'm with that's, my dog. That's that's why like there him and go. Jenna's him and Jenna's relationship is so weird to me. Because okay, here's a man that like I get like that he probably smokes a lot of weed. I mean, this is just I don't know this. It's not confirmed, but he lives in Portland and. You, you look at him, and it's like, that guy smokes pot, right? And so it's him, and then you have Jenna. Like, that's, like, over-the-top controller. So then you have this, like, controlling personality with this, I don't want to say lazy, but, like, chilled out stoner. And it's like, it's how horrible. are you sliding? It's that horrible. doesn't work. Doesn't it's work. Like, she changes herself to be the person that the person that she likes so it's what, like what do you mean i'm trying so trying so hard to control posting things game. about being like i want to live in a van and, do you, and i'm like you're literally trying to change yourself for the man that you're with you did say on the show, you see it on the show you, go ahead you said that jenna you do not think that jenna is the person that she thinks being like i think i'm totally misquoting but it was basically okay. that jenna is and you were referencing it to the way that she's acting in relationships. So you were basically saying Jenna is actually this type of person, which may not be a negative thing, but yeah. the way she's acting is a negative way. And that's not yeah. who she is. So it was almost like in that moment, like you had plenty of time to make like really personal dig and you did not take that opportunity. But that's Just, the way, like, that's why I ma- like am. Like I, I don't try to spew negative energy because I don't, need that in my life so for me it's like i just want and the thing is they don't show like she came after me for saying this on the reunion but it was fact they don't show when she did not work for our entire flip day because adam had called her psychotic and she was so after knowing him for like a week and i go in there or maybe two weeks but i i went in there and i was comforting her and i was like you don't need this lights out no one could go in the room, this whole thing. I'm flipping the boat by my f-ing self because Georgia's off on her interview. And I'm like, girl, listen to me. You don't, and she had been horrible to me. But I was like, listen, don't let this man treat you like this. This is dumb. And then she's like, right, right, right. And gets up the next morning and then they're making out in the galley again. And I'm like, oh my God, what the f- are we all going on? And then I- she, like, she like accepts, she accepts that because she, I don't know where you're so, so I'm like, Wait, that. It's just, who are you talking to? My friend Jess. Well, tell her to come in. Come in, Jess. Jess, you want to come in in your own? Oh, no. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> She's saying hi. <laughs> hey. Hey. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, hey. So, like, that's, like, the most frustrating thing, I think, is that I think she could have been a great Chief Stew had Adam not been there. Yeah. And I've said and I've said this to her. I've said this on camera before. They have not used it. But she was so distracted by, like, the love of a man that she put – she prioritized dick over department. As a viewer, cool. logical warfare of the motion – of, you know, the emotional turmoil and stuff, for me, yeah. it makes – Oh my god, I can't even. I can't, I can't. I'm like, you've known this person, but she was like, they don't even show it either. We were in our room. She's like, I knew exactly who the chef was. Like, I've had the biggest crush on him. I've stalked him, like, on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh my god, what is going on? I'm like, why did I, why did I do this? Why did I do this? He he was a victory. (laughs) What? He was a victory. I don't think I've said that since high school. (laughs) Oh, I definitely have victory. So I'm like, (laughs) he's like sleeping with the captain of like the football team. You're like, 
that. And then you walk away and you're like, I'm totally fine. And then in your I'm locker, fine. Oh, I love I'm fine. It. I'm fine. <laughs> so weird. It was very uncomfortable. It definitely reminded me of when I loved James in the fifth grade and we were going to get married. Um, just like me with Jacob in high school. I was like, oh my God, we're going to get married and have cute babies. I'm like, oh my God. Ugh. Why did I like, like, he would text me hi and I'd be like, oh my God. Like, uh, girl. Cool. I had a lot in common if y'all were texting in high school. Michelle and I, what you were texting in high school? <laughs> What's that like? I'm only six months younger than you, Mel. Uh. <laughs> What? I'm only six months younger than you. What's your birth year? 87. I'm a 93. 87! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I don't even know you at all. <laughs> no, I know you've said that like a lot of times and I'm like, I'm, I'm really, we're the same age. <laughs> you years younger than me. Yeah, I'm 93. 93? Yeah. All right, bro. Come on. Moving. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> What? <laughs> what old as shit but i don't remember shit that's why you know it's real I <laughs> 2015 was a hell of a year oh it's god called, you know what it let's just forget about the baby we just gotta bring it bring it back and blame it on tbi okay come on. bring it back <laughs> all right i also so, like how it says my full name on zoom I, that's know, it, a stalker i did oh, know. nice well, to meet you these people also, just, you know, they in these groups, they have no idea that it, the they're watching is not live. That every single time we talk to someone, they don't know this shit is live. They post about it. So when we were about to speak with oh, Jenna. Oh, like the seven, yeah. Yeah, when we were about to speak with Jenna, I caught, I posted in there and I said, if y'all could ask, you know, Jenna anything, what would you, okay. I said, right. what would you ask her? So what would you ask her? And they said, or if you, what was it, girls? I said, like, or if you could say anything to her, something like that. Yeah. And they all commented and said, quit. And I, I was like, oh, shit, nobody knows this isn't live. This is really un uncomfortable right now. <laughs> like, oh, this is awkward. No. Don't know it's not live. Awesome. Okay. Quit. Well, I mean, they're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I will definitely say we had many more pauses with uh, Miss Jenna to where we walked away thinking that it was great to give people the opportunity um, to, you know, have those spaces between, maybe. But we, I, you know, I've watched. She's and we all sociopathic, pathological liar. Like I'm not kidding you. Like we all sit there. She she goes off for for quite some time, and you'll see us. We just sit there, like kind of like. <sighs> yeah. Anytime I think of her, I kind of feel like a bobblehead. <laughs> you just have to be like. You have nothing to say. You're like, yeah, okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. You're like hot. Mm. The one thing you're, that I did- You are 42 years old bullying a 26 year old on national television. Wait, she's 42? 42. What the f am I doing, man? I don't know Bullying a 26 year old. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> at all. That's not like, funny. The fact that I don't remember it or know it is very disturbing to me right now. I'm very sorry. Yeah, I didn't realize she was quite- how, So how 42? old is that? 42! How old Adam? 36, I think so. Ah. Well, I mean, okay. he's, the baby maker's broken. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay. okay, I rarely make super off color comments. Oh my god, that was, <laughs> that was so good. You and I are going to be best friends down there. Look <laughs> it on the natty light, okay, come on. Look at all my grapes that I used as oh. ice. <laughs> Do you freeze them first? Yeah. So, the other, uh, last week I was making, uh, I was, oh Jesus. I mean, I was craving <laughs> <chicken> salad. <laughs> I was craving chicken salad. I had to have f***ing chicken salad. I bought the uh, red or purple, whatever the color grapes are. I bought the grapes and then I ate 
<laughs> apparently ended up buying seed grapes. It's a pizza. <laughs> you oh God, you the worst so proud. Ever. You can't eat it. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, what's the point of seeds being inside of grapes? I need, I know they need to rebirth, but like rebirth without the seeds. My husband asked me like five days after I'd made it if I was. He said, "Don't forget, you've got that salad you had to have in there." I said, F "That salad." No. Sorry, Lena. Sorry, I said, "Forget about that salad." Forget that salad. <laughs> forget. Don't oh. ever let a man forget the salad, okay? Oh, <laughs> he's got dress with uh, salad for garnish. My gosh, that guy. I'm just kidding. I'm not. <laughs> um. Okay. So do we have? <laughs> so just so you know, Madison, we have another our girl gang, and her name is Nastia, and you may know her. <laughs> do I? Uh, Anastasia from Below Deck. Okay, well, if you don't know her, you need to, okay? Oh, is that, she, that, is that the Asia Charger? Asia Charger? Yeah. No. Uh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Okay. She was the one that, like, turned to a cook, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay. See, I know. Okay, so, so you and her would get along, like... Two peas in a like, pod? Yeah. We gotta well, set that up. We'll set up, like, a group right. hangout. Yeah. Okay. We'll set you up on a blind date. Where blind are you? date below are you? below deck blind date. <laughs> I love this journey for us. <laughs> Bring in all you? the different seasons together, you know? <laughs> all all two oh. all two apparently that I know of. <laughs> Who would you pick? <laughs> um Rob. Uh, <laughs> one time one time Where I was are you living now, Madison? Where are what? you? What? Where are you living now? Currently in the Hamptons. Oh, you're New York. So you're you're by Colin. You're, she was supposed to come next, but apparently he has a sky drive. Isn't she by Martini Mike? Am I wrong? Do I not know where I'm talking about? No, he's he's on Rhode Island. That's Rhode Island. She's by That's Colin. Oh. oh, okay. She's by Colin and Parker, right? Or no? Parker, I was just with Parker in Larkspurg. I was in Colorado. Okay. Oh. By like Foco, Fort Collins, right? I was in Fort Collins. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. my my mom's from Colorado. So oh, I love Colorado. Right. It's beautiful. It's the best. Beautiful. Everybody should get there if they have the chance. I think yeah. it's beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> so she's in the Hamptons. We need to set this up. With what? Nastia, Nastia is in New Hampshire. We can meet. She's in Fort Lauderdale. So right now. Yeah, we're just gonna go in and down and up and then a little this way. <laughs> you step he comes down. down. <laughs> 22 Jump Street when he's like, you just gotta break through the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, when you were talking about your day constantly out, I went like this and I was like, oh. <laughs> fine. Oh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> fine. <laughs> I told you it was gonna pop out. I'm sure my kid is probably killing me. Yeah. Right. And yeah, Michelle has not. taken a beating the entire time. <laughs> I keep trying to mute you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. So call you up on the Zoom. On the on the Zoom. On the Zoom. On the Zoom. <laughs> I'll just get the Zoom. On the Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay I need, to, I need to go we're all I'm starting a group chat now I know. <laughs> yes get the shred shred get the shred that was supposed to be thread words it's like math who needs it <laughs> it's like my ex who needs it what there you go well, my ex and his new chick are both psychos so don't listen to them so but anyway that was fun so, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Hold on. Right. Okay. Thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. Professionals. I'm Melanie. This is Taylor. This is Michelle. And 
there's been Madison Stalker checking with us again for our next meeting with the Madison Stalker. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> right there, right there, right there. We're us. We have to play. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. <laughs> All right, so I got three seconds before my kids freak out. Okay. All right, go be a mom, okay. Madison. We will be in in touch. Bye, guys. And All right, bye. Thank you so much. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>